the female reproductive system in detail. Here the three diagrams have been run. The first one diagram is the front view of the female reproductive system in which the external visible parts of the female reproductive system has been shown. And this is the side view of the female reproductive system in which some of the external visible parts have been shown and some of the internal female reproductive tract have been shown which is not visible to many people. And this diagram is showing the internal genital organs of the female reproductive system, which is also not visible to we people. Let's come to all the external genitalia of the female reproductive system. This region is called the manspuis. There are the two skin folds which are called labia. The outer one is called labia majora, which is homologous to the male scrotum. And the manspuis and labia majora is having hair. Inside the labia majora, there is another skin fold which is called labia minora, which is having no hair. And this region is called the female clitoris, which is homologous to the male penis. This is highly innervated and a highly sensitive part in the female reproductive system. Below the clitoris and inside the labia minora, this region is called the vestibule. Vestibule is having uh, the urethral opening. This is the urethral opening. And below the urethral opening, there is another opening which is called vaginal opening. The vaginal opening is partially covered by hymen membrane, which is a sign of virginity. And there are the two Bartholin glands on each side of the uh, vaginal opening. This is the female anus. Let's come toward the side view. So here is somewhere the monstivis. This is the labia majora. Uh, inside, this is the labia minora, this is the clitoris, this is urethral opening, urethra, and urinary bladder. This is the vaginal opening, vagina, and uh, the uterus of the female reproductive system. This is the anus, and this is the rectum in the female. The external genital organs of the female reproductive system is called vulva. In this diagram, the internal genital organs of the female reproductive system have been shown, which is also called the female reproductive tract, which consists of a pair of ovaries. Each ovary is having many, many round vesicles, which are called ovarian follicles. Each and every ovarian follicle is having an immature egg, which is called an oocyte. In an adult female, a facet from anterior pituitary eggs on ovarian follicles, and uh, finally, one of the follicles is mature each month. The maturing follicle produces estrogen which uh, thickens the endometrium of the uterus. And LH from anterior pituitary act on matured follicle and ovulation takes place by the ovaries each month alternatively. And the ruptured follicle is transformed into corpus luteum which produces progesterone that prepares the endometrium for pregnancy. The fingers like projections in the oviducts, uterine tubes or fallopian tubes are called fembrae which swell and start movement around the 14th day of menstrual cycle and receive the egg which is actually secondary oocyte during ovulation. The stalk of the uterine tube is called infundibulum and the swollen part is called impula where the fertilization normally takes place. The sperm are deposited here by the male penis which swim through the cervix, swim through the uterus and swim through the uterine tube towards the ampulla where the egg and sperm unite with each other and fertilization takes place. If there is no fertilization, the secondary oocyte is resorbed by the oviduct here and if fertilization uh, takes place, then the fertilized egg is pushed towards the uterus by the muscular contractions of the uterine tube and by the cilia present in the uterine tubes. Then the uterus is having three layers, the outer perimetrium, the middle myometrium and the inner endometrium. The endometrium is normally a thin layer but thickens due to the action of estrogen produ produced by the maturing follicles in the ovary. And further, pre uh, further uh, prepared and vascularized by the progesterone from the corpus luteum for pregnancy. If there is no fertilization, the progesterone level from the carpus luteum drops, which triggers the endometrium to shed its menstrual flow. The myometrium is a thick muscular layer that periodically contract during the childbirth, which propels the baby towards outside. And the vagina is having a select pH that protects the internal reproductive tract from any infections, etc. So whenever the sperm are deposited here, they may be damaged or kills. That is why the alkaline nature of the semen neutralizes the acidity of the vagina and the sperm may not be killed or damaged.